Hey, what's up everybody? Jonathan Weinman here, and today I'll be going over the hit log and how you can use it while dialing in the settings on your DWE kit. So on the right-hand side of the DWE control app, next to the velocity curve, you're gonna see the hit log. This is gonna be where you can see a visual representation of how the triggers are responding to your strikes. The hit log tracks the number of hits, plus how hard we're hitting a drummer cymbal. Let me go ahead and strike the snare drum a few different ways and show you what these readings mean. You'll notice that each zone of any given instrument is color-coded to help you easily detect which zone is being activated. In that last example, I hit the rim, then the head, then a rim shot. One reason you might find yourself referencing the hit log is to be able to quickly and easily confirm that fine adjustments you're making in the trigger settings window are being accurately tracked. For example, maybe you're adjusting your drum sensitivity knob and you want to make sure that it's not maxing out your headroom. You can easily watch the hit log to track this, as well as how any other settings changes are modifying a trigger's response. You're also gonna see a sequential number keeping track of your triggered activity. This may be useful in diagnosis. And at any given time, you can clear the hit log with the clear button above it. And that's gonna wrap up our understanding of the hit log in the DWE control app. Thanks again for watching. I'm Jonathan, and we'll see you again in the next video.